Hey everyone, it's Goddess Puffin. Welcome to my channel. This reading is for all the water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces for the next 72 hours. So let's jump straight into it with an oracle card message for all the water signs, all the placements. This is a general reading. So this could resonate for love, family, friends, career, whatever. For all my water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. All right, give you another good shuffle. Oh, that was bad. Okay. All right. What do you have for my water signs? What to Cancer, Scorpio, and... Okay. That was quick. <clears throat> We have wings. You never needed those wings to fly. Number eight. And overall, we have flower. Be honest with yourself. Number 17, you can break that down to an eight. So two eights. So there's, I can already see movement. Some of you could be moving out, moving jobs, moving homes, whatever it is. I definitely feel movement and I can already feel some of you might be getting some messages from someone, an old friend, a family member, someone you had a falling out with, maybe an ex. Someone is texting an ex, but this can resonate for anyone. I definitely feel movement and something from the past trying to come back, but you're moving forward. But let's see with the tarot. Get a couple more shuffles in. One more. <laughs> All right. What's going on with my water signs? Spirit, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. What's going on with my water signs? Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces for the next 72 hours. First card out is the Five of Cups, Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Past disappointments. I knew it was something about the past. What else for my water signs? What about the past, Spirit? The Hermit card, Virgo. Some of you could have been dealing with the Virgo or it could be strongly in your chart somewhere. What else, Spirit? And then I see the tower right here. And we have the Seven of Cups. More water energy. Someone had a lot of options. Could have been someone trying to... Maybe someone's trying to chase their dreams or they're fantasizing. There's a disappointment about the past. And with the Hermit card, it's going within being your own guiding light or finding your own inner guidance and then seven of cups options and fantasy and then we have the justice card could have been dealing with the libra or have it strongly in your chart could be some legal things going on and one more okay that was quick oh they gave me two we have the king of pentacles earth energy virgo taurus capricorn and we have the three of swords air aquarius libra gemini okay 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 and the overall energy is the lovers, Gemini, a choice. So, and right, and right under that is the two of cups and the six of cups. So this is screaming past life, soulmate, twin flame, and whatever this is for you, because we have many soulmates in life. This could be a friend, family member, a job, a pet, however it resonates for you. Okay, so right off the back, I'm getting, you know, someone from the past. This could be a legal situation again. This could be, hmm, some of you, I think, are fantasizing about marriage or someone from the past is fantasizing about marriage, what could have been with someone. Someone's very heartbroken about this king of pentacles. It could have been... With a earth sign or an air sign, I'm getting that strongly. <sighs> yeah, it's just someone here is disappointed about the past. Someone thought that maybe someone had a lot of options and someone wished they would have trusted their gut. They're just very heartbroken about a soulmate and what could have been. It could be someone, it could be an earth sign thinking about you. A nurse sign from the past is thinking about you and they're very hurt. They they wanted this, I get the feeling that they wanted this to lead to marriage. Let's get some clarifiers. That is the main message I'm getting. 
someone from the past is disappointed and heartbroken because someone here realizes that someone was their soulmate. And then we have the card, be honest with yourself. But we also have, you never needed those wings to fly. So it could be releasing something, someone that you thought you needed in life. Maybe it's um, an ex, ex-wife, ex-husband, ex-whatever. And, you know, you're thinking about the good times and the possibilities. And some of you may always may also be thinking like, yeah, I love them, but it, it was time to move on. But let's see. Clarify the Five of Cups, please, Spirit. The World card. A cycle has ended. Yeah, there's disappointment about the past, you know, grieving and releasing and letting it go. But that cycle has closed. You know, the past is done and gone. And this is a major completion of a cycle. So any past disappointments or anything you've been holding on to, that cycle is closed and it's a signal that to let it go. You won't be dealing with that past disappointment any longer. Clarify the Five of Cups. Whoa. Princess of Pentacles. So there's like some desire to move forward here. There's some goal. There's a new beginning here. A new beginning of stability. It may take its time or it may have taken its time to get here. But it's a promise with the Page of Pentacles. It may have taken a while to move forward or it may have taken a while to move forward. But there's a promise of stability in long term when you see the Princess or Page of Pentacles. It's like a guaranteed long term stability. Clarify the Hermit. Two of Wands, very fitting, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So you're planning your next move. You're following your inner guidance, trusting your intuition to guide you forward to your next step. So boom, the past disappointments are closed. That cycle is closed. It's completed. It's done. And now it's time to create a new stable beginning by following your own inner guidance. So whatever you were clinging to in the past that you thought you needed, whether it's a job or a person or a relationship or whatever, you've closed that out. And you've realized you could follow your own inner guidance and create a new stable beginning on your own. Clarify the Hermit one more time, even though we really don't need to. And we have the Five of Cups. And it kind of turned like it was in reverse. I don't know if you saw it when it hit the table, but it spun. So you have the Five of Cups again. So yes, this main message is about disappointments of the past. It could have been, you know, again, past relationships because the overall energy is the lover. But someone here needs to be honest with themselves. They already know something. Something about past disappointments. Like you really, really, really wanted something to work for you. And you keep beating yourself up about it. Like sitting around sad every time you get a moment alone. You're just disappointed. Like I thought this was going to last forever. How am I going to move forward? Blah, blah, blah. You may feel left out in the cold or alone. You may have been using something as a crutch or you've been with it so long that you can't see life without it, whatever it was. Clarify the Seven of Cups. Or someone could be feeling that way about you, of course. Clarify the Seven of Cups. Seven of Swords, okay. So there could have been some illusion or fantasy about lying, cheating, and stealing. Not saying that it did happen, not saying that it didn't happen, but there is some type of illusion or fantasy surrounding the Seven of Swords. Maybe, I'm getting one scenario here is in the past, someone may have had some self-sabotaging ways about them, assuming the worst in a situation is what I'm getting. Clarify the Seven of Cups one more time. The Star, Hope and Healing, and also Aquarius. So yeah, what I'm getting here is Someone in the past, they thought the worst of a situation. And they're very disappointed about how things went. Now, if you did have some lying, cheating, and stealing or manipulation in a situation or other parties, you would know. This, this reading wouldn't be revealing that to you. You would already know if that was your story. So I'm getting two storylines where there was other parties in lying, cheating, and stealing. And I'm getting another side where you thought there was. You let your imagination get the best of you. And you thought the worst. Because 
Virgos have that tendency to overanalyze and overthink with this hermit card. But with the star card, there is hope and healing for the situation. Someone wants to heal this. Whether it's to get back with someone or go back to a job or not. Either way, someone's wishing to heal this. But there is no going back. That chapter has closed. So it's best to just move on and work, focus on healing yourself first. Clarify justice. King of Cups. Okay. So there could have been some emotional manipulation here, especially with the Justice card and the King of Cups. Someone here wasn't very emotionally mature or ready for whatever the situation was. Someone was playing on their emotions to win. I feel like there was an injustice or imbalance in this situation, especially with this five of swords here, conflict and competition. And this is more so harsh words like passive aggressiveness. Clarify the justice card one more time. High priestess, Pisces. Hmm. This could be, a, again, a legal situation. I, I think that someone can foresee how some type of legal situation or injustice or imbalance is going to weigh on someone's emotions. Like someone could secretly have planned this or they can see how it's weighing on them. And also I'm getting that this King of Cups here may want to bring balance to a situation. They may realize their wrongs in a situation and want to make things right here. Someone may have consulted a high priestess of some kind. I just get that someone took the time to figure out what was wrong in this situation and right their wrongs. That's what I'm getting. And also for the other side of this, the other scenario someone could foresee how this situation weighed on someone heavily and they want to make it just they want to make it right they want to be emotionally mature overall if this made sense yeah there was an imbalance and someone wants to make it right basically they may want to apologize clarify the king of pentacles definitely getting a strong apology here someone just wants to make things right the empress and clarify the king of pentacles one more time Whoa, I didn't, okay. Ten of Wands and Princess of Swords. Okay. There was a heavy burden here. Whew. Someone is spying on someone. I get that someone's also sending a message of truth here. And I, we do have two kings on the board. So there could have been an empress. She could be a mother. I'm getting that someone may be pregnant and they're not telling who is the father, if that's your situation. Of course, that's not gonna be for everyone, but we do have two kings here and the an empress. So it could be a heavy burden to someone, some type of truth about this empress. And then we do have the high priestess. For some of you, there's some type of affair where, and someone got pregnant in this affair. It's like, kind of like a, a wife swap or a husband swap. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. If you can hear my guinea pigs, I got another one and they've been running around. Anyway, <laughs> clarify the three of swords. But I definitely got some type of spouse swap here. And this flipped out in reverse. I don't do reversals, but it may tie in. So I think someone's trying to avoid a judgment, honestly, with this Three of Swords. Clarify the Three of Swords one more time, Spirit. Three of Swords. Yeah, and then the Two of Swords. Overall energy, the King of Swords. So what I'm getting here is there is an empress, definitely strongly getting, there's a mother here, and she had multiple different partners. We've got the King of Swords, King of Cups, and King of Pentacles, three kings. 
And one of them was, one of these kings was in a relationship. She, she doesn't know who the father is. Like, there's multiple different options with this Seven of Cups. And then the Seven of Swords, lying, cheating, and stealing. Someone wants to heal this. And I'm getting that it's the King of Cups who wants to fix this. And there is some type of truth and clarity here with this King of Swords overall. Someone, there's a heavy burden here. And someone's going to tell the truth about this situation. Huh. Okay, and for those of you where this isn't about a relationship, of course, this could just be different aspects of you. In this, but I'm, I just keep getting pulled back to that storyline. There's multiple different kings here, and someone's having to tell the truth about a pregnancy. And it's time to be honest with yourself. And it's heartbreaking because someone and someone's trying to hold off on calling a judgment with the, and then with the two of swords. Yeah, someone's trying to stop this from happening or put a hold on this situation. But someone here is using their they're finding their they're following their intuition and emotions. Cause they can foresee this. Maybe they foresee a divorce. Of some kind because of a third party this is definitely a third party situation so there's a pregnant empress is a third party who burden in a truth it could be an earth sign or air sign child but there is definitely someone spying and someone telling the truth about a pregnancy. All right, water signs. That is your reading for the next 72 hours. If it resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.